Ready for a new episode of Chips and Tricks? Today we will look at how annoying chipping can occur at the cutting edge of your milling cutter. And of course, I will also explain to you how you can avoid this in the future and thus extend the tool life of your milling tools. Edge chipping is when small intents occur on the cutting edge, similar to the teeth of a saw. You can feel it by gently running your fingernail over the cutting edge. But this edge chipping has nothing to do with where it fits. It can often occur far too early and significantly shorten the tool life of your tool. But how does this edge chipping actually occur? In the machining process, there are two causes that lead to cutting edge chipping. Issue number one, vibrations on the component. If the milling cutter or workpiece vibrates, the workpiece and the cutting edge will knock against one another. This leads to shell-like chipping on the cutting edge, which quickly reduces the tool life of the milling cutter or leads to poor results on the workpiece. Of course, we want to avoid this. You can get these vibrations under control with a suitable clamping device. For example, the HPC Power Chuck is an excellent choice here. If you want to know more about vibrations during milling and how to avoid them, check out our previous episode. Issue number two, chip removal. The chip is normally generated before the cutting edge, removed via the flute and must then be ejected from the working area. However, if the chips jam, that means the flute holds back the chips, the chip is pulled back between the workpiece and the cutting edge. This means that it is cut again and the side of the milling cutter must press through the material. The result? There are also shell-like chippings on the cutting edge. It is therefore important to make sure that the chips are removed safely from the work process during milling. You can solve this problem with the right cooling lubricant strategy. If you have selected external cooling with cooling lubricant, make sure that the nozzles are carefully aligned, ideally from several sides. This ensures that the chips are reliable rinsed away. Internal cooling is a better alternative. If your machine has this option, you can use tool holders with so-called peripheral cooling. In this case, the cooling lubricant is transported with pressure to the cutting edge. The effect of this is much more targeted. Ideally, even the milling tool itself will have internal cooling ducts. Cooling lubricant is supplied to the location via lateral and axial outlets through the tool. This ensures optimum chip removal. Important for a good tool life and safe process, no more annoying edge chipping. My chip tip to enjoy your milling cutter has a good tool life and the process is safe. The right clamping chuck and optimum cooling prevent cutting edge chipping.